In agricultural news from agview.net, in what's called a win for workers, Democrats in the House of Representatives say they reached an agreement with the Trump administration to move the U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement forward. President Trump says the agreement is good for everybody, farmers, manufacturers, energy, as well as unions. He said the USMCA has tremendous support. Ag Secretary Sonny Perdue said the agreement improves virtually every component of its predecessor, that was the North American Free Trade Agreement. Purdue said the House and Senate now needs to work diligently to pass USMCA by Christmas. Well, the Kansas Department of Agriculture has announced that Chief Engineer David Barfield will be retiring from his position at the Division of Water Resources effective March 6th of next year. Barfield has been with DWR for 35 years and served as chief engineer since June of 2007. He's led the DWR in its efforts to serve water users in the state within the framework of Kansas law. That includes administration of more than 30,000 active water rights and four interstate water compact and also the state's program regulating dams and other water structures. Barfield led Kansas through decades of effort to interstate issues, including a couple of Supreme Court litigation and years of negotiations to reach agreements with Nebraska and Colorado to ensure that Kansas received its share of waters from the Republican River. Now, similarly, he led negotiations of numerous implementation agreements that were related to the Kansas Compact with Colorado on the Arkansas River and in reaching a water rights settlement agreement with the Kickapoo tribe to help that tribe develop and secure a water supply for its needs. And after serving as president of the National Farmers Union for over a decade, Roger Johnson has announced that he does not intend to seek re-election again next year. His current term will end when the organization holds their annual convention in March. At that point, an election for his successor will be held. During his 11-year-long tenure, he led many efforts fighting corporate consolidation in the world of agriculture, as well as helping farmers adapt and mitigate climate change in developing fair international trade agreements, they say, and as well providing information and resources to rural communities that are struggling with mounting stress and opioid misuse and also ensuring that economic and social viability of family farm agriculture. Now prior to his lending the family farm organization he served as the North Dakota Agriculture Commissioner. Now you can find out more on these and other stories at agview.net. We'll be back after these messages.